Yo, you know Coachella was rough on me though when I got like some cracked up shades right here. Look at this. I cracked on the first day, lost my phone on the first day, hit my face on the first day on a, a pole. So much happened, so much bad things happened on the first day, but I didn't let it hold me back. I stayed positive. What's up guys and girls, it's EP with Styles Up. I just got back from Vegas. Oh man, it's such a long trip this weekend, guys. I went to, so basically started off on Friday. Oh man, it's such a long story. So I actually started on Tuesday, last Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, the 24th. Last Tuesday, I had to go drop off my dogs to my parents, and uh, which is an hour away from my crib. And then I thought I was flying out of Eugene, but I learned on Wednesday, after dropping off my dogs, I fly out from Portland, PDX Airport. So then I had to drive all the way to Portland, and I planned this ahead all back then so I can drop the dogs off on the way. But I forgot, and then I dropped my dogs off, went through work and all this stuff, and turns out I could have had my dogs for another two days. I miss my dogs so bad right now, guys. Fast forward to Thursday, my flight, I drove all the way to Portland. So that was a two hour drive. And then from Portland, I flew to Vegas, and right when we got to Vegas, my boy Adam and I had to drive from Vegas to Coachella, and that was a five hour drive, four hour drive, excuse me. And it was a blessing though, because once we got there, it was about, we got there around 420, on 420. Um, I'm looking because I'm waiting for my cousin to show up. I should just hide right here so I can see him in the screen if he pops up. Anyway, on 420 I showed up, so Coachella, if you, you guys never been to Coachella, I should have got footage of the line, but it was really dark at night. But the thing with Coachella is that the line to get into the campsite starts like, boom. Like my buddy waited in line to get into the campsite in their car for nine hours. They drove from Sacramento for nine hours and then waited in line for another nine hours. So they're in the car for like 18 hours. We showed up from Vegas. So Vegas is from the east side. So it's over here and then Sacramento's over here. So everyone comes in from like the LAX or the Palm Springs airport and they have to like get in on the side that's more dense. Help more people go from that side. Not a lot of people come from the Vegas side. So we snuck in from the Vegas side. So then we like cut the whole line. We only waited in line on the campsite for an hour and a half. And it was amazing. Our friends that got to the campsite already didn't even believe us. So we got to Coachella on Friday, early set up camp. It was sad because I've never been to Coachella so I didn't know what to expect. But now that I know what to expect, I'm really gonna do it right next year. But our campsite wasn't by our old friends campsite so that wasn't as fun as I could have been. Um, but it was still such a great experience. If weekend two was worth it, I think it was worth it only because of the experience. If you've never been to Coachella, if you've never been to a music festival, if you've never been it's a place that everyone needs to experience at least once because of the it everyone says it's like the best experience of their life for me personally it really wasn't it was probably top 10. i love the fact that it was great vibes everyone was on a vibe and that's what i'm about it's about great vibe it's about happiness it's about being happy it's about sharing love it's about showing love and being in a, a festival where everyone is dressed up to the nines for the festival, everyone's dedicated, like everyone's there for different vibes, but it's like, it's different vibes, but it's a, it's an equal collective vibe, if that makes sense. Losing my phone was a blessing in disguise. Why? Because I didn't spend every 30 minutes, every hour pulling on my phone to snap or like, you know, check it. Rather, I was spending the, 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 the second and third day full on experience. I experienced it all. Like I didn't miss a beat. Like I was living in the moment. That's how it's supposed to be, you know? That's how that's how that's how it's supposed to be. Like I really enjoyed it. And although I have to drop more money for a new phone, it's okay. Money is money is a thing that comes and goes, but experiences Coachella only comes once a year, you know what I mean? So like I'm not complaining. Honestly, like I had such an amazing time, met wonderful people built wonderful relationships, uh, relationships that I can count on, relationships that I can look forward to, and uh, 
I'm excited for next Coachella because we're gonna do it right. We're gonna have a fat campsite. We're gonna have great people. We're gonna have a lot of people. We're gonna have great vibes, even better vibes. But the beautiful thing is that vibes don't come and go. Vibes can be brought, vibes can be shown, vibes can be taken, and vibes can be shared. Oh man, I just, it's honestly been a, a, a mind opening and eye opening experience this past weekend. But it's about to be snapped back to reality. It made me realize that I do need to focus on myself a lot more. Uh, I have been focusing on myself a lot, but this whole vacation slash trip slash experience has really made me realize that I need to really hone in on my focus and my drive. And I really need to get out to New York City. I've been talking about it. I've been talking about it. I've been talking about it. It's time to do it. It's time to find a job, to help my transition over there. It's time to build my businesses up. It's time to really grow as a person. Ah, man, it feels so good to be alive, to know that I'm thriving, to know that I have that drive. I cannot be any happier than I am today, guys, and I'm really, 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 really happy that I got to experience Coachella with some one of my closest friends and and the group that I was a part became my close friends over the weekend and I wouldn't have traded it at all like I wouldn't have had it any other way honestly it's one of the like I said it was one of the top 10 experiences of my life yo but everyone out there watching this I want to know comment down below let me know if y'all went to Coachella like how was your guys experience talk to me about it honestly I can't wait to go to Coachella again I can't wait to, for the days to come. Like, everyone was talking about on Sunday, like, oh, like Sunday night, like, everyone's like, oh, tomorrow we're just gonna be depressed because we gotta leave and all this. And I'm like, no, tomorrow's gonna be a better day. We're gonna become better. We're gonna have better experiences. Coachella's gonna come back next year. We had this experience. We gotta remember this experience, but that shouldn't stop us from being who we are and continuing to become better. That's all we should focus on, guys. Becoming better, having better experiences, having better people in our circles, having better words come out of our mouth <sighs> guys man i love y'all i really do uh whoever's watching out there i really do appreciate the support it means the world to me and if you haven't already click the like button subscribe to the channel a lot more videos are gonna come out i say this every time and i'm pulling out more videos like i said so you know what much love to all y'all guys until next time energy pop 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 to you guys until next time guys Yo, I haven't seen Shiloh in a week. Yo, check this out. Shiloh! 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 Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You're so quiet. You miss me? You miss me? You miss me, buddy? Oh, my God. Look at him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, buddy.